hey guys welcome back to my channel so today in this video i would like to read an article entitled federal maritime commissions or vmc so the federal maritime commissions is an agency responsible for ensuring a competitive and reliable international ocean transportation supply system that support the u.s economy and protects the public from unfair and deceptive practices practices firm as an independent agency in 1961 the fmc provides alternative dispute resolution in cases wherein maritime terminal operators common carriers or other parties within the ocean shipping industry have disagreement among the commission staff are administrative law judges who make binding decisions in such cases. Key takeaways The Federal Maritime Commission was formally established in 1961, representing the evolutions of shipping regulations going back to World War I. The FMC is an independent federal agency with five president appointed commissioners. The mission of the FMC is to ensure a competitive and reliable ocean shipping industry that protects the U.S. public from unfair ocean transportation practices. Understanding the Federal Maritime Commission The Federal Maritime Commission is made up of five commissioners who are appointed by the President and confirmed by the U.S. Senate. The commissioners serve stacker five-year term which help ensure the bipartisan nature of the body. No more than three members of the commission can represent the same political party. The president designates one of the commissioners to serve as the agency chair, chief executive, and chief administrative officer. The commission staff is composed largely of attorneys, economists, and ocean transportation experts. More of the employers work at the agency's Washington, D.C. headquarters, although the agency also operates six other port-based locations throughout the country. The FMC performs several functions designed to ensure the fairness and efficiency of ocean-based shipping. This include reviewing agreement between ocean common carriers, which transport passenger or goods across international waters and marine terminal operators which provide loading unloading and storage on of item items airport ensuring that such agreement do not result in unfair hikes in transportation costs or loss of service offering relief to exporters importers and other parties who are harmed by unreasonable ocean shipping parties providing a dispute resolution process for matters concerning the shipment of cargo and for complaints between cruise vessel operators and passengers seeking redress when foreign government or business enti entities impose unfair business condition on u.s exporters regulation regulating ocean transportation intermediaries which don't transport cargo or passengers but often facilitate shipping transaction ruling on dispute the info rates classifications and practice of common carriers mtos and otis maintaining a fleet of u.s linear vessels capable of responding to potential international conflict when the commission adjudicates dispute the ruling are, binder, are binding for all parties. However, the initial decisions can be appealed by any of the parties involved in the dispute or at the request of one of the five commissioners. The FMC would then act as an appellate court reviewing the case and issuing a final ruling history of the federal maritime commission the federal maritime commission was officially created in 1961 during the kennedy administration 
However, its roots go back several decades earlier to the Shipping Act of 1916. During World War I, the demand for American export and therefore shipping capacity had grown immensely. immensely. Wearing the ocean cleaners were colluding to rise shipping rates and reduce the quality of service during this critical period. Congress created the United States Shipping Board to protect American exporters and importers from unfair trade practices. Shortly after the war, Congress passed the Marshall Marine Act, which gave the U.S. Shipping Board a second mission, responding to foreign shipping rules and practices that put the United States at a disadvantage in international trade. By 1950, the organization involved into the Federal Maritime Board, an agency within the Department of Commerce. However, in 1961, President John F. Kennedy signed an executive order assigning these two primary tasks to separate organization. The newly formed Maritime Administration, or MALAT, was charged with supporting merchant marines and managing a reserve of cargo ships in the event of future international hosta- hostilities. The Federal Maritime Commission, as an independent agency, would focus on U.S. shipping activities. The creations of an independent of VMC coincide with a critical, with a critical development in overseas shipping, the event of standardized shipping containers that could be transported via ocean liner rail or truck. That breakthrough quickly increased the efficiency of international trade, leading to a boom in ocean shipping traffic. Are the Federal Maritime Commission rulings binding? Arbitration ruling made by the FMC are binding on all parties. However, the Commission also has methods of alternative dispute resolution, which are non-binding. This include offering an ombudsman service and mediation, wherever it helps the parties negotiate business, business and regulatory matters. So, that's all the article. Bye-bye and see you on my next video. Bye!